Hello everyone, this is Aarti Malid. Today I am going to explain about Roots of Administration of Poison guided by Dr. Sachidanand Sir. In this slide, you can clearly see Roots of Poisoning. They are Inhalation, Absorption, Injections, Ingestion. In order of rapidity of action, here comes Number 1. Inhalation Speaking of inhalation, inhaled in gaseous or vaporous form, it usually involves a volatile substance, gas, dust, smoke or aerosol. Volatile solvents such as benzene, taurine, xylene, acetone, methylene chloride, methyl chloroform and carbon tetrachloride poisoning in industrial exposures. Solvent sniff sniffing among adolescents or accidents in the home, gases such as carbon monoxide, hydrogen sulfide and methane in industries. Smokes and dusts of industry's origin may involve lead, mercury, silicon, asbestos, and beryllium. Now, secondly, it's injection. Injection into blood vessels, intramuscular, subcutaneous, and intradermal injection. Third is absorption. Speaking of absorption, application to a wound, application to a serous surface. Fourth is ingestion, introduction into stomach, introduction into the natural orifices, example rectum, vagina, urethra, etc. Some drugs can be given by rectal route to produce a systematic effect, example aspirin, barbiturates, chloral hydrate, chlorofromazine, etc. Application to unbroken skin, organic phosphate, nicotine, some organic solvents and levicide gas can penetrate the skin and produce intoxication and death. Other substances which are absorbed through the skin are phenol and its derivatives, andrine, methyl salicylate, mercury, tetraethylate, and alkylated compounds, cantharidin, hydrocyanic acid, hormones such as oestrogen, progesterone, testosterone, and deoxycorticosterone vitamin D and K. Thank you.